here. I bet you know your prickets from your portraits. I my what a trade. Oh, what a man. And here I am to tip my cap. Here. I'll back you know your prickings from your portraits. Want to trade? From forests fair to cities. Another victim. My victim. My surest friend is my own mind. The man taps his foot in time to the bard's tune, though he stills it as you draw near and clears his throat. <clears throat> if you're looking for Cat, she's evaluating all of Kem's antiquities. It'll, uh, it'll be a while. If you're in a shopping mood, well, I can help with that. Well, this is the estate of the, uh, venerable Kems. We've all come to trade with Linda and his missus, but with recent events, let's just say they're busy. But Cat's inside. She'll come up with something. She's an appraiser, and our boss to boot. You'll meet her if you head inside. If you've got anything she's interested in, could be she'll make you a good deal. He looks around covertly, before turning back to you with a wink. Could be a, a really good deal. I would, didn't I? Sure thing. I'll start hunting that. Jahan runs his fingers across his temples and scalp, intermittently squeezing and massaging, as if nursing a severe headache. Malik's voice has gone silent, but I'm afraid my recovery will take a touch of time. I am well past my prime, you know. I have no plans whatsoever beyond dusting my head for crud and cobwebs. After that, well, as long as the essence of Nemesis finds a way to leak into Rivalon, 
There'll be hunting to do. I'll enjoy peace when it's truly mine to have. Like to take a look at what I've been working by all means.
You must truly savor my company, Godwoken. Something you wanted? Don't have many more of those on my sleeve. Those are my sleeve. Oh. Mm. These god woken are going to be the death of me. You always bring me to such wonderfully destructive places. I'll never find somewhere quiet to settle down at this rate.
I would have preferred a more discreet arrival in Arx myself. I am still a fugitive after all. Jahan runs his fingers across his temples and scalp, intermittently squeezing and massaging, as if nursing a severe headache. A drama leaks. I'll enjoy. God woke. How can I help? No one's ever regretted having extra help in a fight. I'll guarantee you that. Go with honor. Craig sure knows how to Did the paladins chase you away from the cathedral then? Kim has an appraiser in the house. It could mean a big payday. Even with the world as it is, people will buy anything. Here, you. Dwarf face. Or anything interesting to trade? Stick face. Want to buy some stuff? Want to sell some stuff? I packed my life up in Oakland. I set my course far on the map. And here I am to tip my cap. Psst. Is it? Want to buy some stuff? Want to sell some stuff? Responses from the seascapes. What a trade. I've 
Did the paladins chase you away from the cathedral then? Kem has an appraiser in the house. Could mean a big payday. You never lose hope, do you? I admire that. My surest friend is my own mind. From my home in Alaroth, I packed my life up. I set my course to And here I am to tip my cap. Here, lizard kid. I bet you know your sconces from your seascapes. Want to trade? I've walked this earth, each vale and peak. From forests fair to cities deep. And in each place I've come to find her. My surest friend Here, is Here, lizard kid. I bet you know your sconces from your seascapes. Want to trade? Features. Got anything interesting to sell? I got one. Is this? It's butter. She said she'd wait for me in arcs if she ever escaped. And so she did.
stuff. Beautiful and beguiling stuff. Buying and selling. before the last war. On sufferance, lizard. If I had my way, you'd be on the next boat home. Lady Kem may welcome lizards into her home. That doesn't mean I have to like it. Flows straight into the river. My friend here has taste. The man and the elf keep their voices to a discreet level, but it's impossible to miss the tension between them. They're arguing. What more to convince you? More void woken? A plague? An earthquake? Arx is doomed. Our future is elsewhere. Pharaoh, come on. Where's this elsewhere that's better than Arx? This is the greatest city in the world. I'll leave it over my dead body. Exactly. Your dead body. My dead body. This place is dead. We can be together anywhere. They fall into a sullen silence, neither of them willing to give in. Keep out of this. This is not a good time. Please leave us. I know quality when I see it, and I bet you do too. Care to trade? Mind your own business, would you? This is a bloody private conversation. Excuse us, please. It sounds banal, but I hope you like what you see. I've walked this earth, each vale and peak. Don't From forests fair to cities bleak. And in each place I've come to find no quality when I see it. My surest friend is my own. She responds with a nervous wave, and her eyes flit to the man. I packed my life up in a blood. I set my course far. Rarities, remnants. And here I am. She responds. I hear water. At least, I hope it's water. Yet another fresh thing. My word, the mansion's positively overrun with foreign folk on this most inauspicious of Lucian's days. He catches himself and scrapes his throat in a brief moment of embarrassment. <clears throat> I do apologize if I came across as impertinent just now, and I hope you'll forgive my unabating boldness when I assume Sir has come here in search of an audience with either Lord or Lady Ken. Oh, I meant, of course, Sir's countrymen, the lizard excellencies that have sought shelter under this esteemed roof in the aftermath of the dreadful attack that was inflicted upon the Imperial Consulate. It saddens me to say there are a number of deaths to mourn. 
but no doubt we all rejoice at the survival of the nobles. After all, a mere clerk is so easily replaced, wouldn't you say? How very novel of you, sir. Oh, gracious, her? I truly hope you are not in cahoots with that brazen peddler. Well, she's in the dining room. Lady Kem is having tea in the drawing room over in the North Wing. I'm quite certain a person as obviously well-traveled as yourself will have no problem drifting in that general direction, should he deem it fit to do so. I'm afraid I can't accommodate you with the opportunity to have a word with my Lord Kem at this precise moment, sir. My Lord left early in the morning in pursuit of business, and he hasn't yet returned. I'm not privy to the details of my lord's ventures, but I gather his outing pertains to his office as Grand Master of the Paladins and the ousting of certain firebrands from the city. A most noble task, I'm sure. Unless I'm quite mistaken, in which case I once more apologize profusely, you'll most likely find my lord in the immediate vicinity of the Magister Headquarters. The Magisters, in case my previous sentence lacked clarity, being the firebrands I alluded to. Yes, do please excuse me, for I've a party of dignitaries to attend to. They've an appetite for an aperitif, and the port, needless to say, does not pour itself. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Mm. Well, I can't blame him for drinking, drinking so much port. tea. Not with Master, Master Kem being the way he's been. You one of those consulator lizards, or whatever they're called? You might be a guest, but you need to stay out the way, lest you want to season tonight's stew. Another one? How many more of you can Lady K possibly take in? I'm working here. Leave me be. For heaven's sake, would you please... Oh, ever so sorry. I thought you were that rotten butler about to warn me once again to take the ocular, not the tactile approach. I swear I have a mind to beat him to death with the nearest dictionary I can find. Oh, do spare me. That little snob thinks me unworthy of being in his precious lord's mansion, appraising his precious lord's collection of antiques. Just you try judging the state of a Vedistian armor if you're not even allowed to rummage through its drawers. Oh, he's all blood and battle, all right. Until you show him a Ferrolian snuff box or an ancient imperial fainting couch, then he's as giddy as a cat in a field of catnip. He knows very well I'm the best in the business. Asked me to value his collection personally. I'm merely appraising the many antiques gathered in here in this beautiful mansion. A roguish little smile suddenly plays upon her lips. What else would I be doing? My, you do drive a hard bargain, don't you? Very well. Consider yourself invited. Now listen closely. Rumor has it that Lord Kim's mansion is built upon a massive vault in which he hides his true valuables. His entire house is but a smokescreen for the real treasure hidden underneath. I've had no luck so far in locating this fabled vault, but if you do, I swear the entire hoard is yours. 
No questions asked. All I want in return for this information is a trio of curios that is said to be kept inside. The portrait of the divine, the cup of kings, and the scroll of eternity. Everything else is yours. A most satisfactory arrangement. She shakes her head apologetically. There are only whispers of a vault and quieter whispers still of what it may contain. But at least you know now that it's there. Probably. Did you find them? The portrait of the divine, the cup of kings, and the scroll of eternity. These are the only treasures I'm after. These are the ones I want you to find. One so yearns for the calm of pearls. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Why, hello again. Highly interesting, and highly valuable. Perhaps even quite out of your league. Anything else? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I found something. So hard to find a nice original. Shh, she'll find me. Disband them. When Lady Kay glares you into next Tuesday, you'll regret keeping your entry. I've managed to rummage up any turnips. I'm not going to go digging in the dirt for any. 
What's on your mind, darling? What's on your mind, darling? An inscription at the terrarium's base identifies its contents as a wailing mandrake, a species you've not heard of in spite of your impressive scholarship. Not every detail is visible through the terrarium's hazed glass, but there is no missing the plant's trumpet-like blooms, perfect for catching raindrops, or insects, perhaps. The spirit of the owl hops heavily from claw to claw, squinting up at you over his bulging, fluffy cheeks. I don't know what just happened, but I do know that I can't taste anything, and that is the worst feeling in the whole world. The owl's eyes go wide and round, as round as his roly-poly body. What? What? No more treats from camp? No more tasty treats? Oh, you know, this and that, little tidbits, hands, feet, an eyeball now and then. 
Kim always liked me the best. He gave me lots of treats like that. Those others with their fancy names, he never gave them treats like me. Three owls in the enclosure stare you down blankly, fluffing their feathers and blinking in turn. Jimmy, prithee wake thyself. The owl addressed as Jimmy lies motionless on the ground, looking for all the world like he's stone cold dead. Aye, aye, buck thyself up, Jimmy lad. We are blessed with a visitor. Spying some blood on Jimmy's beak, you pry it open to investigate. Inside, you see a human finger. A few sharp tugs, and you've pulled a severed human hand loose, partially pecked. You don't need to be a genius to surmise that Jimmy choked on his dinner. Sir, sir, quit thy poking and prithee leave yon Jimmy alone. Our lad will ruffle up his feathers in his own sweet time. Jimmy, Jimmy, what is it we do? Oh, blast and bother, Jimmy. Show some civility to our esteemed visitor, won't you? Jimmy remains dead, uninterested in answering petty questions about the world of the living. As you gingerly pack the rotting appendage in your backpack, you have occasion to wonder, not for the first time on this journey, what in the void am I doing? Deceased? Buncom, sweet Jimmy is just resting his eyes. Sir must be aware that one often needs a small nap after a large dinner, and Jimmy just ingested a banquet. Kem! Kem! Lord Kem! Finest paladin in all the land! Right, Jimmy? A beak never goes empty for long in Kem's house. Fare thee well! We'll tell Jimmy you stopped by. You slink through Kem's mansion with the alacrity that comes with years of thievery. You arrive in the garden unseen and lay your eyes on the pool. It's just as you hoped. The pool is dry. You enter the basin and reach for the hatch. But a shadow looms over you. A paladin. You smile. You have a story ready for this very situation. Yet when you open your mouth, no words spill forth. A blade swings and your hand hits the ground with a thump. Three owls in the enclosure stare you down blankly, fluffing their- Jimmy! The owl at- Aye, aye, buck the- Fare thee well! Another visit? Jimmy! You guessed it? Oh, you sure did eat a big dinner. Fare thee well! Another visit? You guessed- Oh, you sure- Fare thee
The weather-beaten war owl salutes you with one wing. Looking closer, you can see a telltale scratch on her left claw. This is the war owl who delivered your message from the paladin camp. Sir, you sent me from the meadows near Driftwood. Caroline Fluffinster at your service, sir. That I have, sir. Thank you, sir. Bred and trained for service I am, sir. And proud to be some help, sir. Wherever the whistle calls me, sir, Though, no doubt, with the war preparations the way they are now, I'll be called up to the front lines, sir. The owl bows before you with an outrageously over-the-top flourish of her feathered wings. Owl mistress glances up at you from her papers, a harried look on her face. She nods an abrupt greeting. Yes? Can't you smell the fine aroma of owl shit? This is the Owlry, Lord Kem's communications link with the rest of Rivalon. Right now, I'm sending my fluffy friends to mobilize paladins to readiness. War is imminent. But Lord Kem's a good leader, a good man. He'll protect us. I'm sure of it. I suppose he sent you for the latest news? I doubt it. That's probably just Jimmy taking a nap. That fat owl. He eats a lot. Poor lad hasn't been able to fly properly in months. Lord Kem feeds him too many treats. And who am I to stop him? Rivalon's a big place, darling. And all of it in a shambles. Where exactly do you want to know about? We haven't heard anything from Fort Joy in a good long time, ever since a group of renegade sorcerers escaped, killing Bishop Alexander in the process. I'm no fan of Magisters, not anymore. But I can't help but think that Alexander's death was unfortunate. Dallas is only making everything worse. I intercepted some Magister communications from there a while ago. Seems like their Voidwoken problems have decreased lately, but they're not quite sure why. Well, that's no surprise. Your kind of all three houses riled up in a frenzy. The House of Dreams are communing with dead warriors. The House of Lore drawing up new maps for after the war. And the House of War? Well, the House of War are in their element. The biggest news of the Dwarven Queendom is usually the location of the Queen. And guess what? Queen Justinia is here in Arcs. She's staying right here in Lord Kem's mansion. Good luck out there. You'll need it. We all will.